A Dayton food truck that opened against the odds is still going strong one year later. Not only were they ambitious for when they opened, but where. First at four, 2 News reporter Kelly King opens the doors and shows us how they've been able to survive. The owners of the Sunrise Breakfast truck opened with no experience in the midst of the pandemic and in an area where there's not much else. They attribute ambition, timing, and location to their success, saying it's what's kept customers coming back and it's what's kept them going. It's the most important meal of the day, and the Sunrise Breakfast truck is serving it up hot and ready. The idea is great. Nobody in Dayton has a breakfast food truck. We are the only ones around. Destiny Wright first cooking up the idea, the venture a family affair. It's me, my brother, and my sisters. With no prior experience, they took a chance. The Dayton breakfast truck opened in May of 2021, right in the middle of the pandemic. During the pandemic, it was tough. It was tough the first six months, but we pull strings and that's why family was the best matter because we know at the end of the day that this is a long term goal. Since the start, they've been trucking along, filling a void and feeding a need in the 1400 block of West 3rd near Paul Lawrence Dunbar Street. The area is considered a food desert where there aren't a lot of options. And we wanted to be centered. We wanted to be where everybody can get to us. So there's a lot of incoming traffic from downtown Dayton, getting off of 75. The truck driving customers to the area for a little more than a year, getting people their breakfast fix. Our number one seller is our Sunrise Special. My favorite is the burrito. Serving 35 to 40 people a day, they're busy helping people rise and shine. The Sunrise Breakfast Truck is open Tuesday through Friday. They also take online orders, cater, and offer private events. They hope to eventually expand and add a storefront. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.